hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we'll be looking at basic configurations on cisco router okay so there are various type of configuration that can be done on a cisco router so configuring a cisco router requires you to set up the basic settings such as the host name the password uh, setting up interfaces and routing protocols so we will look at the step-by-step -step procedure to set up these uh, settings so as usual before we continue please if you like the kind of content i used to drop on this channel and you have not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i drop a new video and also if you have watched any of my video and you learned something from it please like the video thank you and let's continue so the first thing you should do is to assess the router now remember in real life scenario like i said you need your system and you need a rollover cable okay so when you get your system and you uh, have your rollover cable connect it to the rs232 of your computer and connect it to the console port of your router so once you are done connecting run the putty software to get to the a cli interface of your router okay so in this case i'm going to click on the computer go to configure sorry desktop then go to the terminal okay so once you run the putty software on your system you are going to enter this interface okay so here i'm going to click on no so here is the uh, user exec mode so you see that you use the putty uh, emulator software or you use the teratem uh, emulator software either of them will work best for you okay so we logged in using the uh, default router settings if it is a pre-configured router they are going to log in with some certain credentials okay so from the user exact mode we are going to enter the privilege mode using the uh, command enable so from the privilege exact mode we're going to enter the configuration uh, mode which is the global configuration mode okay so using the command config sorry config terminal so i have a video where i've explained uh, most of this command so you can watch the video the link is in the description below so from this global configuration mode we can configure the host name so host name we can call it uh, Nikitis R1. Okay. So the host name has changed. So we can configure something like uh, the uh, message of the day, MOTD uh, message. So banner MOTD. So MOTD stands for message of the day. So this is the kind of uh, the initial message that will pop up whenever you try to log into the router okay so motd so we can use any uh, sign like hash please you need permission to get into the router okay so any message of your choice so once you are done use this same sign to end your statement okay enter so the next configuration will be to set up a password on this interface okay so whenever anyone tries to log into the router is going to be requesting for password authentication okay so line console zero password let's say cisco okay then log in to initialize it so the next thing we're going to do is to set up password for the privilege exit mode okay so the first password we set which is the line console is that particular port where we plug in our uh, console cable all right then after that particular password then you can have uh, the privilege exit mode 
password before you can get into the global configuration mode where you can do major configurations okay so exit enable secret we can say cisco so cisco one okay so you can use different password so the next thing we need to do is to set up the vty password now the vty password is used for remote access okay so once you configure your ssh and you want to connect to your router remotely it's going to require you to input this particular password we want to configure now okay so line vty zero to four so you can give it to different virtual interfaces on the router so from here we're going to be giving just from zero to four okay so enter password let's this say cisco okay so please don't complicate your password even though you need it to be uh are more secure but then if you use a complicated password try and write it down somewhere so that you will not easily forget it okay so let's say cisco 2 enter login to initialize the password so exit so let's configure network interface let's assign ip address to a particular interface okay so remember your router is the gateway to the uh internet so if you have any system if you have any pc or any network on this part of the router the ip address we want to configure now is the gateway for those uh lan or those networks so if you have another network by this side that interface they are being connected to the ip address will configure on that interface will be their gateway to the internet or to the next network okay so we're going to uh, configure an ip address on any of the interface before that let's see how many interface we have on this router so here i can say do show ip interface brief okay enter so we have different interface on this router we have the fast internet uh zero slash zero zero slash one uh we have uh the serial interface we have the fast internet 40 slash zero then we have our fast internet 50 slash zero okay so we can use any of the interface to configure uh the ip address and also you can add more interfaces to your router okay so remember that click on the router okay come to yeah physical so here we have a extra expansion slot so you can add as much module you want on uh this router okay so let's go back so interface let's use the first interface interface fast ethernet zero slash zero okay ip address so you might have uh, done your subnetting and you know your ip addresses range so you can pick out some specific ones to use them as gateway then use some specific ones to assign to your uh, host that is your computers all right so ip address let's say we are using one uh 92.168.1.1 uh, okay so we have uh we have different type of uh or different classes of ip address class a class b class c class d class e okay so you should know uh which class of ip address you are using uh for your configuration okay so i'll still do video on ip address uh calculation subnetting and also uh the best uh ip address to use for what network all right so we have some ip address that are there for reservation we have some for experiment and many of them so we'll learn about ip address uh, soon just stay tuned on this series so 255 the subnet mask very important 255.255.255.0 so this is a class b a class c subnet mask okay enter so no shutdown means we are bringing up that particular interface okay 
so let's confirm so if i do exit okay if i do do show okay from here i think we've done that already let's see it from here so this is the interface so if you watch the status is administratively down okay so if i do uh no shot and maybe we'll go back to check uh that interface you see that it is up okay so this command is used to bring up a particular interface so if i do that to other interfaces they are going to come up all right so exit now let's set up a default gateway now this default gateway is necessary if we need to communicate outside uh its local network okay so ip route 0.0.0.0 okay 0.0.0.0 so let's give it an ip address 192.168.1.254 okay this particular configuration is optional uh, it's not really um, necessary here but you can still configure it like i said if you want uh, uh, the router to communicate outside its local uh, network so enter so that will be done save your configuration remember the different commands we can use to save our configuration so like i said this is just a basic configurations on a cisco router there are other major configurations we can do on cisco router like uh, configuring routing um, rip static routing dynamic routing ospf ergrp uh, there are other kind of configuration we can do on cisco router okay so we'll be doing that as we progress on this uh, series so as it we're going to use write in this uh, case to save our configuration okay so we are done so we can check our running config show running configuration okay enter so you can see uh, all the configuration we have done on this router so whose name nikitis r1 the enable secret that is the password we gave to the privilege exit mode okay then uh, we have this interface which we give this ip address and this subnet mask uh, it is on auto duplex and auto speed then we have uh, the banner MOTD which we configured and that is all so that is all the configuration we did on this router so to see your interface show IP interface brief so to see your interface you use the command show IP interface brief so you can see all the whole interface we have and you can see the one you have assigned ip address and the status okay so thank you guys that will be all for this video if you have any question at all concerning this uh configurations please drop it in the comment section below if you have not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscription button and also if you learned anything from this video please give this video a like thank you and see you in my next video